So to find the magnetic field at point P, we're going to need two things. So this is the magnetic field at the center of a, of a circle, and there's currents going around the side of the circle. So this is going to be the magnetic field at the center. And for this, this is a line of wire, and you have current going along the wire, and the magnetic field at this point will be equal to this. So I'm not going to prove these results. You can find them in the examples in the book. So using, using these two results, we can solve for the magnetic field at point P for these two cases. So let's start with part A. So for part A, we have, first of all, this is a quarter of a circle. So first we have a quarter of a circle, and then we have another quarter of a circle. But this time, this length here is B. So essentially, we can add up these two contributions. Well, the contributions from these sides, they contribute nothing to point P because using the right-hand rule, uh, these two, the vectors, if you just point your fingers back to this direction, you'll find that these two, uh, these two components over here don't contribute anything to the magnetic field. So the magnetic field is only coming from these two sides. So for this side, the amount of magnetic field that's coming from this side. So first of all, we can treat it like a circle. So if it's a full circle, then by this result, this is the magnetic field, right? But now we have a quarter of a circle, so we multiply by one fourth. And then the contribution from this side, it's going to go in the opposite direction of wherever this is going. So if you use your, the right hand rule, you see that uh, the contribution from this side actually points outwards. And from this side, it's going to point inwards. So it's going to be a minus. And then once again, we use the same formula. We treat it like a circle, and then we divide it by 4. And so pulling out the like terms, you get this result. And, and uh, this is going to be a vector, and it's going to point outside. So for part B, we have a semicircle. And this is a center. And then we have two lines that extend to infinity. So there's a current that goes here, goes around, and then it leaves this way. So first of all, we can add the contribution from this half circle. The radius is going to be r. So just like before, we have 2r. So this half a circle, we multiply by 1 half. And then here we have a, a straight current. And this is only only half a straight current as opposed to what we have here. This is going to extend to infinity in both directions. Well, in this case, it only extends to infinity in one direction. But then we have actually have two. So both of these add up together to form a complete uh, line of current that extends from infinity to infinity. So we can actually add up these two contributions and treat them as one complete line uh, line of current, so we can just add this result to the electric uh, to the magnetic field. So all we have to do is to add this so two pi r, and essentially that we have it. This is our answer. So we can pull out the like terms. So that's going to be a one plus two over pi. So this is the answer. And then if you use the right hand, if you use your right hand rule, you see that the magnetic field uh, points inside of this surface, so inside, inside of the screen.